Hey beautiful people, how are you all doing today? My name is Mark and I love making things sweet and in style. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is where I do anything and everything creative. It's been a long time since I last uploaded a video. Actually, it's just a couple of weeks, but for me, that's long enough. You know, I've been busy lately and of course, been busy with my personal life. Well, technically, my love life. Okay, and then um, I would like to thank this year by Chai for sending me a very lovely moist and super chewy chocolate cake. So I'm going to show you now. Okay, and also I would like to greet a shout out to George Mitchell Esguera for always watching my video. Thank you very much. And of course, Raquel Tanyag also. So wherever you guys are, please stay safe and keep on going. So for today, I'll be sharing with you how to make a very easy lemon without using any molds, without using any cutters at all. So I'm going to show you all the techniques on how to texture it, how to properly glaze, and also how to make the leaves and the flowers without using any cutter. So without further ado, let's start! Okay, so for today, I'll be sharing with you my technique on how I actually do some of my fruits. Actually, most of my fruits, this is actually the technique that I use. So instead of using, um, what they call this, a styro ball, I actually use marshmallows, okay? For the paste that we'll be using, this is mako paste. Um, so you can check on my other videos about the mako paste. I already shared the recipe. I'm going to put it on the description box also. So... As you see, this is a very beautiful lemon and I didn't use any styro at all. So what I use is, uh, this is an ordinary marshmallow size which you can get at any grocery store or even your baking supply store. So this is around 1 inches, okay? So what you need to do, you need to get a paste at least a little bit bigger. And of course, the chickens are so excited. Pardon me for that. I don't know what's wrong with them. Okay, so... You see that the marshmallow and the paste okay the paste is just slightly bigger than the marshmallow okay so what you need to do now uh, smoothen out the paste on your hands okay just like that and then I'm actually using a bamboo skewer or a barbecue stick that's actually very smooth okay and then you need to flat it with your hands okay to gently expand the paste so how would you know if how big it should be? It should be a little bit thick, okay? But not too thick. And then when you measure, you should have at least like 2 inches, okay? Or at least double the size of the marshmallow. And then what you would want to do now, you want to insert it in the middle. Okay, poke a hole just like that and then pull your mallows, okay? See that? And then... You can actually expand it a little bit more by pressing onto the sides. Okay, and then gently you need to wrap the marshmallow, okay? And then gently move in the paste, okay? Just randomly press it with your hands, okay? You see that? It looks like a tulip, but trust me, it's gonna look like a lemon, okay? And then you need to close the upper part so for some of you who are concerned um let's say for example you don't want it to be a little bit pointy you can actually cut the ends for safety purposes if kids do want to eat this or if other guests would like to eat them okay so you'll have something like this okay so what you need to do now you need to get some shortening put it on your hands very little okay so that's what you use to rub on the cracks to actually make it smoother but actually if you observe the real lemon it's not actually really smooth and then what you need to do this end should be a little bit pointy okay so just press on the sides so that's what you'll have and then this side the other part you see it's a little bit flustered light here so you need to make it a little bit embossed Okay, on one part, just like that. Well, basically, we are mimicking or copying the shape of the real lemon. Okay, and then press and lock this side. And then later on, I'll show you how to make the leaves and the flowers 
of the lemon okay so basically this is the shape that you will have so you see that this part is actually a little bit more pointy the other part is actually a little bit pointy but it's more rounded and it's lot it's much bigger so this is the part of the lemon that's actually connected to the stem and to the leaves okay so once you have something like so this part okay the edge okay make sure it's smooth there's no cracks using a bamboo skewers or let's say um a toothpick you need to create a hole okay using the end that's not pointy just like that okay see that hello okay so it should be like that and then just press it on the sides okay and then for the texturing technique believe it or not i only use a bunch of toothpick okay so what you would want to do if we would texture this already hold it with your palm and then gently just press okay because if you look at the real lemons it actually has this texture that are uh, very similar to uh, pores and it actually has a lot of like holes small holes on it so that's how it should look like i'm not sure if you can see it on the camera but okay okay there you have it that's how it should look like see that so this is actually very easy what i did i just get a bunch of toothpick and then i place my rubber band okay and then just gently like press hard onto the skin of the lemon okay and then you just have to let this dry and then later i'll show you how to dust and actually glaze our lemons you see that you see the texture it's really really nice and then there's a hole here which will dust with some greens okay so right now we're actually done with our lemon so i'm just letting it set and then later i'll show you how to color it so right now i'm gonna show you how to make this very beautiful lemon flower actually if you observe the flowers of the citrus fruits is actually a bit similar to one another so it has those uh, protrudence where the pollens are actually located and it has a very delicate petals okay so i'm gonna show you how i did this one basically you need a paste that's plain white okay so knead and massage it with your hands and then this is around one centimeter okay so i need to get a very little amount from the one centimeter just a very small amount will do and then what you need to do now this small amount will be at the end of our wire so for the wire i'm using wire number 22 color green okay this is num number 22 color green okay so you have something like that and then this one the remaining one centimeter okay so what you need to do now smoothen it out and then make a teardrop a little teardrop just like so and then using your scissors just need to cut okay need to cut five petals by the way uh this scissor that i'm using is actually intended for sewing but uh i use it also for flowers so i separated it so once you have five divisions okay just gently open and press if it's a little bit sticky or if it's sticking on your fingers just add some cornstarch okay so there you have it this is what you'll have so what you need to do afterwards dab cornstarch on the petals okay and then dab cornstarch on your foam pad also and then using your ball tool you need to pull the petals going out okay so when you pull it we'll have a closer look okay you see that so when you pull it just slide the ball tool going out okay only in one direction so that you're going to make it long but thin okay so this is what you'll have open it up so it's a little bit similar to jasmine only the center is different okay so this is your center what you would want to do now using your pizza cutter or a knife just create random lines going up okay it's not focusing hello okay basically i just did some lines and then what you need to do now you need to dip the end in edible glue okay 
tap out the excess and then what I have here is my gelatin mix so this is gelatin with petal dust okay color yellow I use golden yellow from rainbow dust okay so just dip the end okay and then this is what you'll have you see that so what you do now insert it on the center okay insert 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 and then lock it on place just like that okay and then you press underneath and then you twist okay then of course you need to play around with the petals to create some movement okay so there you have it this is your citrus blossoms okay which is the flower of our lemon Okay, so now that we are done with the fruit, the flowers, and now I'm going to show you how to make the leaves of our lemon. You see that it's very pretty without using any cutters at all. So basically, um, for the leaves, you can make different sizes so that it would look more natural, okay, if there's different sizes. But I like to start off with about 1.5 centimeter of my paste. Okay, so this is 1.5 centimeter or one and a half. After that, smoothen it out on your hands and fingers and then make an oval shape, okay? Just like that. So what you need to do now, insert it on your wire. Again, I'm using wire number 22, color green, just like that. And then you need to secure the end by twisting, just like that. So I know it looks crazy, it looks different, but trust me, it's gonna be okay. After that, you need to put or make the ends a little bit pointed okay it's thick i know so what i'm going to do now okay you need to dab some cornstarch so it won't stick basically just flat it with your fingers okay see that and then focus on the sides okay because uh when you're actually doing this what happens is the chickens are excited of course what's happening is if you're pressing it the paste is actually getting thinner and then you're actually uh, making the the floral wire stick more to the paste okay so if it comes to a thing like that you see that the wire is slightly coming out just fold it in together okay just like so and of course we'll be using our ball tool to actually make this more thinner avoid the center because that's where the wire is located okay so we want our leaves to be as thin as possible. And if you observe, the shape is actually a little bit more oval, but a little pointed on one end, okay? That's how the leaves of the lemons are, okay? See that? And now it's really thin. So this is good. So using your leaf veiner, just put it on one end, okay? And then hold the wire and then gently press. Okay, so that it won't move okay and then it's normal that sometimes it comes out like that what you need to do now press the center okay so I just pinch it at the back okay so I that press the center okay I don't know what's wrong with the chickens they're so excited okay so it looks like that okay you see that that's how it should look like and then of course Pinch the end more so that it's gonna be more pointed like the real leaf and create some movements. Okay, and then after that, I'll show you how to color the real lemon. Ah, uh, sorry, not the real lemon because it looks so real, our lemons, okay? Okay, so right now our lemons are actually a little bit dry. By the way, we, we used mako paste so if you wanted to know the recipe it's on the description box below uh, please do click the link it's actually on my youtube channel also so what we'll do now uh, we'll dust our lemon so that they will come to life and then i'll show you later how to apply glaze so that it will be shiny and looks real okay so what i have here is dust this is color green from rainbow dust okay and then um this is yellow that i added a little bit of cornstarch okay uh, again from rainbow dust but you can use any other dust brands okay you can use sugar flare you can use petal dust crystal colors or magic colors okay so I, I'll get a little bit of my green okay and then I'll just dust 
little green on one part okay and then also at the end part okay normally the end parts are a little bit greenish in color and then i just expand a little bit on some parts because if you look at the real lemons it's not really pure yellow okay just like that see that it's more natural looking now and then after that i'll get a little bit of my yellow that i diluted with a little bit of cornstarch okay and then i'll just brush it on some sides okay do you see that because when you look at the real lemon it's not really pure yellow there's actually a lot of different shades of yellow present in one lemon okay you see that I'm not sure if you can observe but this side is actually more lighter in color this side is more golden yellow and then there's actually touches and hinges of green just like the real lemon okay see that okay, just adds a little bit more of green okay we're done with our lemon so now for the final touch we'll be adding some glaze for my glaze what i use is sugar craft okay so i'm just gonna put this aside Okay, so this is our lemon. Okay, so I'll show you how to apply glaze. So this is a confectioner's glaze. This is what I use for my berries and my fruits. So the brand that I'm using is Sugar Craft. Okay? So you need to hold your lemon like this or on the stick. You see that? And then just dip your brush. Okay, and then just gently brush it over. Okay, as if you're applying cutics. And then you'll notice it's gonna be shiny. You see that? So it's too shiny, but once it dries, it's gonna be looking more natural. Okay, it's not gonna be like super duper over shiny, okay? So there you have it. That's how your lemon should be. So when you add gloss or glaze, it actually makes the texture more real. Okay, you see that? It's really nice. Okay? And then later on, we will add some leaves and some flowers and then we're done with our lemon. Okay? Okay, so actually now we are done with our... <clears throat> excuse me, pardon me for that. Okay, we are done with our lemon, our flowers, the leaves, and of course the chicken is excited. And this is what our lemon looks like. Okay, see that? It's very pretty. It looks real because of the green hues and different colors. Okay, so these are the lemons that we did. So we're actually gonna arrange them together in a bunch. So the first thing you need to do is to actually get the buds. So... For the buds, I didn't show it anymore, but it's actually very easy. So just attach a paste, okay? So smoothen out one end, and then make one end pointy, okay? And then you'll have a bud. So what you need to do now, uh, get your floral tape. Okay, and always expand to activate, okay, the stickiness. And then start with the smaller flower, and then add the second bud, okay? So just combine them together and then add the next one. And then you need to get one flower bud, okay? Bend it a little bit. Okay, and then get another one, which is slightly larger. Okay. And then this is the time where Ian will be adding some leaves. So start with the smaller leaf. Can start going down and then add another one you can actually bend it a little bit but we will bend it more later when we are already arranging it together with the fruit okay i don't know what's wrong with the chickens they're all noisy again i think they just wanted to say hi to all of you guys okay and then again bend a little a touch okay just like that see that and then add some tape 
and then keep on twisting and twisting and twisting to cover the entire stem okay and then after that using your tweezers or if you don't have a tweezers you can also use your pliers gently open it a little bit not too much just a little okay and then even your flowers you know just move it a little bit okay it's out of focus hello okay so we just move it a little bit outside okay so that's the beauty with mako paste uh, when it's not yet fully dry you can actually play around with the petals to make it more real looking okay okay just like so so this is what you'll have after that you need to get one of your lemons okay and then just attach them together just like that you know just tape them together you can actually add another lemon so that it would look real and then you can actually put this on your cakes or your floral arrangements okay that's all i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please do give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you bye